Hello everyone, this is Kevin Ring from Nationwide Video. We're here at Infocom 2021, booth 1735, kind of showing off some cool things that Nationwide does. So Nationwide, we are a full dry hire rental and distribution arm for many manufacturers pertaining to video equipment. I myself run Nationwide University where we do manufacturer certified trainings on just about everything you see here. So some of the gear that we're showing off today, First off, the entire booth is being run by a Disguise VX4 media server. Disguise is a real-time content rendering engine where I'm able to, more like an AutoCAD or Vectorworks, I'm able to actually pre-visualize my entire stage beforehand. So everything I'm running here is pixel perfect and accurate down to the meter and the millimeter. I could do this on a laptop months before I ever do an installation, have full previs, heat map capabilities, projection studies, and all the things that I could want as an integrator, live event technician, or designer. We also do no scaling here, so if I'm showing 38, 40, 21, 60 at 60, that is actually what I'm seeing on my visualizer. The disguise then is feeding out 4K at 60, 10 bit to all the displays, and we're going through three Barco Image Pro 4K. Uh, 4K models, which converts to the necessary flavor. The projectors receiving 12G SDI, the Nova Pro MCTRL 4Ks are receiving HDMI 2.0 and DisplayPort 1.2. Look at the projectors here. This is the brand new spanking Christie M4K25. This is the first RGB, pure RGB rental staging projector that does not have an extra LMU module or extra ballast. It's all built into one. This is the new version of the M14K and the MHD10K, which was probably one of the most popular rental staging projectors of all time. The cool thing about this was it actually still uses the same lensing. So if you have the lensing from those projectors, you can use that. So I'm feeding one 12G SDI cable, feeding full 25,000 lumen pure RGB laser. Coming around the booth, then we have the Christie Griffin. This is the big bad boy. Once again, this is a pure RGB laser as well. It is a 32,000 lumen 4K projector. This is used on installations, Cirque de Soleil's, and productions worldwide. Moving around the rest of the booth. The projection surface itself is actually quite interesting. This is a new system called Carbon Black, where the projection surface itself is a dark black color and is made of carbon nano rods. As the nano rods are affected by light, they begin to dance around and science, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. And it, but more importantly, it creates this high contrast ratio. Rather than trying to project black onto white, we are now projecting white onto black, which is much easier to do, giving us full and better color range and spectrum. If I need to hit Rec 2020 or PQ, I can do so on here with the DCI range projector. Over here we have our Infled DB 2.6 Pro. This is a 500 by 500 millimeter LED cabinet, and we're feeding 10-bit HDR to it. That's being fed from the Nova, the Nova Star and GPRL 4K Pros, all being fed from the Skies X4. Uh, this exact cabinet is 576 by 1176, so pretty good 2.6 mil indoor cabinet. The hanging system is actually proprietary nationwide using our nationwide truss system. So this is based off, of, it's similar to mod truss, but the difference behind this though is the uh, truss is actually measured in metric, as is LED. So if the LED cabinet is 500 millimeters, I know the appropriate truss size that I need. So no more have to convert from imperial to metric. Yeah, I had guys tell me On this side is our Panasonic section of the booth. We're being fed by a Panasonic RQ35, which is a red-blue phosphor laser projector, once again for 4K at 10 bit. And we're going on to a 9 by 16 carbon black screen. So same as the other side, but just a wee bit bigger. This is a 32,000 lumen projector. And uh, once again, I'm using the same lensing as the RQ suite. So you have an RQ22, RQ32, RQ35. More importantly, it is the smallest 35,000 lumen projector on the market today. That would have been a, uh, that would have been a 50, uh, 20K two years ago. Certainly not least, we have the Telesonic Kairos system. Uh, this one is pretty nifty. So imagine, if you will, an image processor, a media server, and a camera switcher combined all in one. Utilizing a Mellanox 100 gig network backbone, it's a Synthi ST2110 AV over IB uncompressed video switcher. So using Mellanox, I can use an SFP cage and convert that 12 GSDI display port H.2.0, DP 1.2, whatever I want. Gone are the days of using a dedicated matrix router. 
I can now use IPs and send content to any destination or any bus or any output that I want. So almost think of this as a 72 by SDI or going to my router. I don't need dedicated specific hardware anymore. The Kairos can do unlimited infinite canvas, unlimited infinite inputs, unlimited in, uh, outputs, unlimited MEs, and all based off the GPU and the CPU. If you need more inputs, more outputs, get more GPU. Also plays back media, uncompressed, as well as HI264, HI265. The target, we are using a small PTZ camera, a Panasonic UE100. This is the new controller for it. Uh, the UE100, by the way, is able to output NDI natively, as well as the FreeD protocol for XR and VP for tracking. Um, the predecessor to the Panasonic 410 is the new UHS 500. It's a 1ME fully 4K 12G SDI capable switcher. So if you know and love the 410, this is its predecessor, all 4K HDR 10 bit. This is the new Panasonic PTMZ880. Cute little breakout room projector. It's 110, 9000 lumens, and it is a DLP projector. It's pretty cute. Awesome. And then the uh, last thing I'm showing off here uh, this is the infrared 3.9 mil indoor outdoor panel. So, 3.9 millimeters, this can go indoors, outdoors, uh, nice rugged. So, whether you're doing a concert, uh, tour, or even a train trip loop like us, it's the perfect application. So, once again, Kevin Ring nationwide video uh, visit us at nationwidevideo.com and me at nationwide university if you want to learn how to operate all this cool equipment i'd be happy to show you nationwidevideo.com slash training awesome thank you so much